Chapter 431, Each with His Own Axe to Grind Lu Xu immediately closed his sun mirror as he saw Coral's tears rolling down due to the prick. Though guilty for his action, Lu Xu really did not expect her to look at him straight through the intense light. But the thing was, actually she could not even see him in backlight, so why did she still stare? Lu Xu reckoned that Coral was only trying to show off her beauty. Li Xiao paused a second before asking, Brother Lu Xu, can you lend me this magical weapon of yours? Here you are. Lu Xu stuffed the mirror into his hands with only slight hesitation. Just when darkness returned to the palace and members of big organizations were starting to look back, a cheerful voice echoed in the chamber. Big head, look here. Ka. It was again as bright as daylight. Li Xiao. We are at daggers drawn. Can the golden foundation please do something? At this moment, the descending of the building had finally come to a stop. Flying through the air, Li Xiani snatched the mirror from Li Xiao's hand and returned it to Lu Xu. Then, he turned to Li Xiao, anger hissing in his voice. Don't be so dramatic. Obediently Li Xiao kept silent. He could defy anyone else but this old man. But didn't Lu Xu start it first? Why don't you scold him? Meanwhile, many had taken out their lighting devices. Without the disturbing sun mirror, they were finally able to take a careful look around. But nothing seemed to have changed except for the fact that there were underground. Look, a voice suddenly shouted. In the illumination of his torchlight, the main gate of the palace looked pitch black. It was not sealed by earth and rocks. The entrance had turned into the exit. Fearful of the unknown darkness, none of the individual practitioners dared to move. Then, the Phoenix Society went forward first with their people. Since they had already decided to take the lead in the search of the relic, no more hesitation was necessary in the light of new clues. After that, the atmosphere had soothed a little, and people's desire for the relic was rekindled. With individual practitioners crowded at the door, it was a bit hard for those big organizations to jostle there now. Yet, as though in tacit agreement, all of them started to chase the low-level practitioners out. They wanted to use them as their cannon fodder. Certainly they wouldn't do so in Li Xiani's presence. But the latter was already gone. Honestly speaking, to those big organizations, low-level practitioners' lives were totally expendable. So why not use them as the canaries in the coal mine? However, no one noticed Nojua to Kenabu's receding figure amidst the commotion. But in a split second, Lu Xu shone his sun mirror towards the direction into which Nojua had disappeared. Then, a translucent shadow was formed on the ceiling in the strong light. The person was gripping onto his purple tonto with one hand while the other raised to shield his eyes. Lu Xu yelled, Look there! A shadowy monster. Beat him. Most of the experts were still unclear about the situation, but who would give it too much thinking in such a creepy environment? Subconsciously, individual practitioners recoiled whereas pros attacked. Instantly, ten fiery phoenixes shot out from Howard's hands, hurling themselves towards the shadow. From Nojoa to Kenabu's distress, plus 999. Lu Xu had always been cautious of him for his sinister eyes earlier, just in case he would secretly attack Li Xiao and himself. Thus, only Lu Xu had noticed his retreat. Besides, he did not achieve the so-called invisibility, but only distortion of light via a certain strength. Thus, he could be easily exposed with another ray of light. Nojoa had no alternatives but to reveal himself, hopping backwards. Stop. It's me. But clearly Howard's phoenixes showed no sign of disappearance. Instead, they continued swooping on Nojoa. Howard smiled gently. My apologies. My fiery phoenixes refuse to return once they are out. Nojoa to Kenabo's eyes darkened. He did not say a word, as he was aware it was an intended attack. Now, with the relic right in front of their eyes, no one would be pleased with more competitors. Thus, he would soon be dead if he had been injured just now. This was the actual cultivation world. 
Every expert was a great white shark in the depths of the seas, and they would swallow the weak at the scent of blood. Clenching his teeth, Nojoa Takenabu threw out more than ten shurikens, each aiming precisely at a fiery phoenix. Instantly, gigantic heat waves swept across the chamber as phoenixes perished into darkness as their gorgeous and frightening demise. Then, due to the explosion, shurikens deviated from their original paths towards the stone walls aside, punctuating two individual practitioners at once. At this instant, to everyone's surprise, two slender fingers took hold of the two shurikens. Nojua Takenaba raised his eyes to see the heavenly network expert in his cap and mask was actually studying his black shurikens. He didn't even notice when his shurikens ended up in that person's hands. Then, the man immediately ran off. From Nojua Takenabu's distress, plus 666. Nojua Takenabu took a total of two seconds to realize that this fellow had specially come for his shurikens. What kind of person was that? So poor. His shurikens were not ordinary items either. Except for the lost ones, Nojua Takenabu called back all the remaining ones. As for Lu Shu, the shurikens kept struggling in Nojua's summon, but neither could escape Lu Shu's control. Then, they were cast into his seal of lands to be consumed by the divine water. From Nojua Takenabu's distress, plus 999. All of a sudden, new and old hatred of him welled up in Nojua's heart. At the moment, his eyes were as malicious as those of the most venomous snake. Wanna die? Nojoa Takenabu's eyes narrowed. Then, he sprang to the air, stepping on individual practitioner's shoulders as he ran towards Lu Shu like a specter. His figure was fading again. His feet sent immense force down the bones of those practitioners, fracturing their spine at once. Get down. Li Xiao suddenly leaped to his feet from nowhere. Roaring, his tiger sign pounced into the air, followed closely by his punch. Chapter 432 Ambush Nojoa Takenabu. In fact, Nojoa had fallen into the long plan trap. Lu Shu was the bait and Li Xiao would ambush him. Actually, they could have waited for a while longer, as there were too many experts gathered here. But the long-standing enmity between the Heavenly Network and the Collection of Gods made it impossible for Li Ishio to hold back. Besides, Li Ishio had never waited for anybody. His fist and tiger sign, the product of Li Ishio's over 20 years of painstaking practice, were fully paired in flawless brilliance. Before the dumbfounded individual practitioners could evade the blow, the tiger had forcefully collided with a transparent figure. All of a sudden, a purple shadow of a knife emerged from nowhere. In that critical instant, Nojua Takenabu struck towards Li Ishiao's fist without hesitation. His purple katana was as swift as a poisonous snake on attack. Even Nojua's irises seemed to have turned violet. The katana had an extraordinary history. It was passed down from ancient times, not a manufactured magical weapon. Right before the collision, Li Ishiao's brawny body and his tiger merged into one, and a black dragon spear appeared in his hands from thin air. Instantly, the spear banged onto the magic katana. A miniature snake sprang from the katana blade towards Li Ishiao, but was immediately caught by the black dragon with its mouth coming out of his spear. Just when everybody thought the snake was dead, to their surprise, the serpent twisted its body and bit the dragon by its neck. In the air, the snake and the dragon were in a tangle. At once, the individual practitioners stepped backward to give them more space. It was only until then that they had a real look at the true experts, whose weapon spirits were already too powerful to be offended. At this moment, Lu Xu suddenly returned, his body surrounded in a ball of radiating divine water. Many could not associate him with the person who ran away with Nojoa Takenabu's shurikens just a moment ago but he was still recognized by one. Pikachu. So you are that Pikachu. That was an individual practitioner who dug earth for Lu Shu earlier. Pikachu your foot. Lu Shu was displeased. Have you seen a Pikachu with such long legs? I'm Pikabin one, by asterisk ch. His reply was in Chinese, which amused the Chinese practitioners present while confusing the rest. 
wasn't it supposed to be serious remains exploration in which casualties could happen anytime? How come it suddenly became so funny? A pro had recognized the glowing water. Puzzled, he said, it looks like. It's Earl's treasure. Surprisingly it's with him, another person affirmed. Earl, who was dealt a death blow by Nye Ting, had gained considerate repute for his bloodlust in the cultivation realm. It was later revealed that his pillage of magical weapons stemmed from the need to nurture his sacred item, aka Lu Xu's divine water. The news of his death had been blocked out by the heavenly network, but even the network itself could not rule out the possibility of the existence of internal spies. Thus, the information was later posted on the Darkness Kingdom. Together with it was the confirmation of Anthony's death. Back then, Lu Xu had earned a wealth of money and distress points on the Darkness Kingdom using Anthony's account. At first, people thought Anthony was dead broke, but they found out afterwards that he was killed in the Salt Lake remains. However, Anthony's posts were released after the end of that remains. Meaning, it was a scam under Anthony's name, but no one knew who was behind it. After that, tracing the clues, Darkness Kingdom sent people into China in search of any information regarding the internet cafe in question. Yet, they soon discovered that the surveillance cameras were spoiled and neither could they check on the video recording. Although cameras on the streets were working fine, the person managed to avoid the monitoring completely. Moreover, there were occasional black screens, which were suspected to be caused by blockages over the cameras. They had tried to work the cafe manager as well. That night, a person clocked in at midnight, but the manager was pretty sure that few would visit the shabby internet cafe at 3 to 4 a.m., as it was nearing the end of the owl timing package and many overnight players would have entered much earlier. There was something wrong with the ID card used for registration purposes as well. It was a valid card, but its owner had gone missing since as early as two years ago. Thus, even the Darkness Kingdom had yet to confirm the identity of the hacker. If it was the Heavenly Network, they would have simply logged into the Darkness Kingdom in their own base. Why the trouble of coming down to a random low-class internet cafe? At the moment, they were suddenly reminded of the sheer number of Class B experts that had perished in Chinese practitioners' hands. There were not many Class B pros in the entire world after all. But Earl's treasure was pretty modest in size, if I remember correctly. Why is it so big now, an expert mused. Now, they had retreated to the spectators' seats. In their opinion, the outcome of the fight was almost certain. Two Class B pros from the Heavenly Network joined forces to combat a COG member, what else do you expect? But they were wrong about one thing. Lu Xu was not a Class B. I heard that Earl's sacred artifact can only feed on magical weapons. Do you think this person has received a huge sum of investment from the Heavenly Network? But the question is, how many magical weapons does that take? The expert's heart pained at the thought. As expected, the Heavenly Network was wealthy and mighty. In fact, the fast growth of the Divine Water had nothing to do with the Heavenly Network, but all thanks to Lu Xu's persistent effort in inconveniencing other people and the wide variety of food he chose. He had even fed it gargoyles, so what else had he not? He would not even enter the palace if the Divine Water was willing to eat black rocks. He would have been able to produce a river in this piece of water scarce land in ten days' time. As the saying goes, it is better to have a smart technique than many lame ones. As compared to the exploration of the unknown, it was a wiser choice to leverage on the advantage of the divine water and unleash its marvelous potential to the fullest. By then, Lu Xu would be able to corrode an entire city when others were still playing with ordinary tsunamis. Of course, though, he might not have so many magical weapons to develop till that stage. Lu Xu rushed back aggressively. I'm coming to help you. Nojoa Takenabo did not see that coming. Already struggling to fight off Li Yixiao, he would certainly not favor the idea of any additional pressure. Li Yixiao's eyes lit up as well. Hurry up. He might not be able to take down Nojoa himself. Instantly, Nojoa Takenabo freed up a hand, casting all of his shurikens at Lu Xu. 
While Nojoa Takenobu was worried about his possible imminent defeat, Li Xiao was positively rejoiced at the arrival of his helper. But, in the next second, Lu Xu ran away again after securing all the shurikens with his divine water. He did not want to let go of Nojoa Takenobu's remaining shurikens. Nojoa Takenobu? Li Xiao? From Nojoa Takenobu's distress, plus 999. From Li Yixiao's distress, plus 666. Chapter 433, Run, Mate Everyone had expected the two heavenly network people to encircle Nojoa Takenobu and end his life on the spot. But it was totally beyond their imagination that Lu Xu seemed to have returned solely for the shurikens. Wait a moment, shurikens were the true reason for his return. Many Class B experts had guessed it that the Divine Water was the sacred item left by Earl due to the full exposure on its ability to consume magical weapons. In the past, Earl's lethality was precisely because of his resistance to short-range weapon attacks. Although it might not work against magical attacks or weapon spirits such as that from the Black Dragon Spear, the Divine Water was definitely the tomb for things like shurikens. Dumbstruck, an expert asked in disbelief, did he strengthen his water via such lame moves? Highly likely. Those shurikens are surely destroyed. Poor Nojoa Takenobu. Eh, how many people has he tricked then? Must watch out for him next time. As for the deities, the bunch had extremely mixing feelings upon witnessing the Heavenly Network expert's surprise moves. Coral, is that the person you like? Coral gazed cheerfully at Lu Xu's receding figure beyond the main gate. Yes, him. After a long silence, the Class B leader of the deities commented calmly, Coral, now I understand why you say your affluence is an advantage. You know him well. At that very instant, Li Ishiao avoided Nojoa to Kenabu's blade and took advantage of his momentary daze. In a split second, Nojoa was thrown hard into the stone wall, and large volumes of blood instantly swelled up in his mouth. They were both temporarily distracted by Lu Xu, but Li Ixiao was less sensitive and very talented at such tricks. Thus, he knew it was his opportunity when all eyes were drawn to Lu Xu. Then, in people's full witness, the blood that Nojoa Takenabu vomited out was immediately absorbed by the black stones on the floor. Then, a red flash flickered along the symbols in the area. The experts knitted their brows. Something's wrong with this underground palace. It sucks human blood. Be careful. At the moment, Nojoa Takenobu had no time to rest, as Li Ishiao had no intention to stop yet. But he was really not suited for any more combat. Had he become even more weakened, he would soon be killed, be it by Liaxiao or other class Bs. It was not only due to the competition for the relic, but also his appealing magic katana. Magical weapons with embedded spirits were widely sought after, as they could provide an additional edge beside the power of the weapon itself. It was a fight-or-flight situation. Suddenly, blood gushed out of Nojoa to Kenobu's eyes. Li Yixiao put his guard up at once. He had seen similar scenes in the Beimang remains, when seven people sacrificed their lives to up the combat effectiveness of one of them. Nye Ting had also mentioned it after his visit to the Collection of Gods. It was said that this method could result in a temporary upgrade of one's capabilities, via the destruction of other COG members' foundation. Similarly, the last-ditch technique by Class Ds of the Heavenly Network would deprive the user of any chances of advancement. Actually, Class Cs like how Ji Chao knew the technique too. But they would never apply it unless left with no other means of survival. Nojoa Takenobu was in excruciating agony as the fact set in that he would never ever ascend to Class A, however, with pros from various organizations approaching him in silence, he would never make it out alive if he did not do so now but he could not die in vain either. The technique would up his abilities to peak class B in a short time, more than enough to overpower Li Yixiao. At that instant, Nojoa Takenobu calculated his chances at killing Li Yixiao. In a rough estimate, he had more than enough time to slake his hatred. All of a sudden, purple light radiated brightly from his katana, 
and the purple snake entangling with the black dragon suddenly surged in power, breaking free of the dragon's locking teeth, throwing itself towards Li Yixiao. Meanwhile, Nojua Takenabu struck towards Li Yixiao like a specter. But just when he intended to slash Li Yixiao live, the man actually ran away. Freak! Such a lame move. In fact, it was the wisest choice at the moment and everybody knew it. They were aware that Nojoa Takenabu's sudden improvement in power was temporary. But what they did not expect was the person's decisiveness. One ran away when he could not win, and the other did the same after robbing another person's stuff. What was wrong with the heavenly network nowadays? What happened to your courage as publicized by your heavenly king Ye Ting? In the meantime, outside the palace, Lu Xu frowned at the view in front of him. It was an empty space lined by stone walls perforated with dense holes, like tens of beehive coals. Every hole was as tall as a person, as though each leading to a different place. If that was the case, they could be directed to hundreds of locations from there. The old man was nowhere to be seen too. But Lu Xu felt that Li Xiani was the least of his concern now. As he quickly threw the ten-plus shurikens to his divine water, Lu Xu examined the surroundings. Those tunnels extended to all directions, and one could easily get trapped inside, let alone locate the relic. As a matter of fact, they had enough manpower in the Kochang remains this time. But their power would be significantly diluted if they were to disperse into hundreds of groups for further exploration. Then, they would be easily taken advantage of by the local creatures in the remains. At that moment, Lu Xu heard a loud tumult from inside the palace. But he did not think much about it, as Li Xiao's capabilities could really live up to his title of a heavenly king. Besides, did he not just provide some help? After all, he had suffered so many shurikens for Li Xiao. Generally speaking, though unreliable, Li Xiao's fighting abilities were rather trustworthy. At this moment, however, he saw Li Xiao dash out, his head lowered. Li Xiao roared, Run, mate! Lu Xu. Chapter 434 Can You Be More Unreliable? Lu Xu was bewildered. You simply could not be praised, could you? But the two lines of bloody tears on Nojoa Takenabu's face instantly brought him back to the sinister scene at the Beimang Remains Pit. Was he really that desperate? Li Yixiao's paunchy figure brushed past Lu Xu like a blast of wind. Run. That old kid is risking his life. Before Lu Xu could react, Li Yixiao had disappeared into a random hole. Lu Xu drew a startled breath. Could you be any more bloody, unreliable? After Nojoa Takenaba ran out of the palace, he was much delighted at the numerous hollows on the wall. They increased his chances of survival. As long as he could hide himself and reinforce his Class B capabilities, the relic might still be within his reach. In fact, Nojoa Takenabu traded his future for a possibility of sustaining his life, and luckily no fatal injuries had occurred to him thus far. Seeing that Li Xiao had already gone far, Nojoa shifted his eyes to Lu Xu who was still corroding his shurikens. Lu Xu froze at once. <laughs> what if I tell you I'm providing free maintenance services for your shurikens like waxing and polishing, okay, fine, I know you won't believe me. F asterisk CKU, Li Yixiao. He started cursing mercilessly at Li Yixiao upon seeing Nojoa Takenabu's darkening face. Then, Lu Xu immediately turned tail and ran. He should run as far as possible when Nojoa Takenabu was still unsure about his abilities. There was no time to care about anything else. Nojoa Takenabu's heart throbbed in pain. Those shurikens were his spoils during an internal conflict within the collection of gods. They were just awesome. In addition to their unparalleled sharpness, each one of them could be remotely controlled. Though unable to be compared to the flying daggers of the heavenly network, he had so many of them. In daily combats, long-ranged attacking techniques historically remained one of the cog's greatest drawbacks. As a matter of fact, every legacy had certain weaknesses. Thus, they had to compensate for their shortcomings with magical weapons, such as Nojoa Takenabu's katana snake and his shurikens. 
Usually he took extra care of his katana and shurikens. Yet, in the end, this pickabin snatched all of them from him. At the moment, Nojua's hatred towards Li Ixiao had been fully evaporated, and Lu Xu was the only person left in his sight. Then, a revelation suddenly crossed his mind. This young man in front of him was not some newly promoted Class B from the Heavenly Network. If he were, he would never be able to defeat two of them so long as he was not a Class A. Why did he not realize it earlier? Else, he should have avoided Li Ixiao first and taken down this boy without hesitation when he returned earlier. When Lu Xu darted towards the nearest hole, he took a look back. Why was he not going after Li Ixiao? Such a headache. As a fake strength type, Lu Xu's speed was comparable to a beginner class B, regardless of his other abilities. But the thing was, Nojoa Takenabu had upped himself to a peak class B at the moment. He was way faster than Lu Xu. Lu Xu was anxious. He might not be able to escape without his trump cards. But before he could come up with a strategy, suddenly a figure emerged from nowhere, his dagger stabbed towards Nojoa Takenabu with an eerie blue glow. Quick and decisive, as though purely intended to buy Lu Xu some time. Nojoa Takenabu immediately rolled aside to dodge the blade. Just when he focused his mind to locate his attacker, the person had blended into the crowd. But Lu Xu used the time to reach the wall. Before he entered the hollow, he turned to see the expert standing beside Coral. The deity's stand was clear too. They would only assist Lu Xu, but not to engage in fights with Nojoa Takenabu just for him. In any case, it was certainly not a wise decision to confront Nojoa in his current status as both parties would probably end up weakened, and being taken advantage of by other bystanders. However, things might be easier after Nojoa Takenabu returned to his original level, because he might be even frilier than immediately after his use of the secret technique. The deities helped Lu Xu out of Coral's love for him, but that did not mean they would be willing to put themselves in danger. Without any further delay, Lu Xu ducked into the darkness. Nojoa Takenabu sneered at the deities. The collection of gods will certainly repay your act. After that, a small crystal bottle appeared on his palm. The liquid inside provided gentle illumination for lighting purposes. In the next second, everybody stood still as Nojoa Takenabu ran into the hollow in pursuit of Lu Xu. Only then did they start to examine the structure of those holes. With so many paths here, it must be very complicated inside. Who knows what may happen if we pick the wrong way, someone exclaimed. Could it be a maze inside? Practitioners from the various big organizations warned, individual practitioners, it is a labyrinth. Don't act on your own. Else, no one can save you if you get lost inside. Their plan was to let the individual practitioners scout for them. Yet, the latter were not stupid either. How could it be such a benign offer as it seemed? Thus, many small groups had made up their mind. Despite the many dangers awaiting them, it was still better to risk their lives for themselves than for other organizations. Now, it was not a matter of their willingness to continue their exploration. They would be forced to walk in front no matter what. At this instant, suddenly some individual practitioners took to their heels towards the hollows. Given the countless roads here, they would not be that unlucky as to bump into big organizations inside, would they? Of course, there were those who were trapped in a dilemma. Their indecisiveness rendered it hard for them to bet on their lives. To them, big organizations spelled for power and security. Every person has his own choices to make, and consequently his fate awaited. Meanwhile, Nojoa Takenabu glided to and for in the dark hollows suddenly. His acute vision caught a glimpse of something on the wall. It was a line of tiny carvings. Could it be a clue of the remains? Hope lit up in his heart as he raised his crystal bottle to the wall for a closer look. Nojoa Takenabo leaned in to study the words closely. They were too small to be hardly legible. I am your lord, trapped here one thousand years ago. Now, I need you to pay my bail of one hundred dollars. I will guarantee your ascension to class A after I get out. 
My account is. Nojoa Takenobu's face darkened at once. Were fighters of the Heavenly Network so childish nowadays? From Nojoa Takenobu's distress, plus 999. Chapter 435, Lu Xu the disgusting type metahuman. Corpse Dog did the carving work for Lu Xu, saving him the trouble and time of staying there physically. After the dagger was done, it flew back to Lu Xu who continued running on. Such convenience. Therefore, as he fled with the divine water as his lighting tool, Lu Xu still carved stuff on the walls to distract Nojoa Takenobu. Meanwhile, Nojoa continued his pursuit furiously. As he went deeper, the words on the walls became increasingly bigger and their occurrence was more frequent as well. Chase more and I'm your daddy. From Nojoa to Kenobu's distress, plus 999. Trying to take advantage of me at this timing, H-U-H. -h. Namo Avalokitesh for a star. Copy the sentence ten times on the wall, or else calamity will befall you in three days. Asterisk Namo Avalokiteshvara, a Buddhist prayer. From Nojoa Takenobu's distress, plus 999. Nojoa Takenobu found it both irritating and amusingly ridiculous. You are freaking cursing me through this? Since when did the Heavenly Network come up with another pain in the ass? Was Li Ishiao not enough? Speaking of which, this new man was even better than Li Ishiao at pissing people off. The two were striving to catch up and overtake each other. But no matter what Lu Xu did, he was still way slower than Nojoa Takenobu who had sacrificed his foundation in exchange for his current power. Now, Lu Xu could only pray hard that fellow would return to his original form as soon as possible, or even weaker than that. In that instance, Lu Xu would be more than happy to try and see whether he could defeat a weak class B by himself. Despite his victory over Anthony last time, his opponent was at most a peak class C with techniques more advanced than his level. Besides, he still did not manage to kill him in the end. Lu Xu was running in front with Nojoa Takenobu's approaching footsteps being audible from time to time. Why is that old boy's power still not over? Lu Xu was speechless. It was all Li Yixiao's fault. It was fine that you want to have a fight, but why did you ignite his full strength? Moreover, why did you run after that? At that moment, the space in front of him opened into a straight path slanted downwards. Not long after Lu Xu ran into the tunnel, he turned to see Nojoa Takenobu at the end of the way. Now that they were in each other's vision, Lu Xu suddenly felt his stress building up. It was the easiest to accelerate on a straight line path. At that time, Nojoa Takenobu could close the 100-meter gap within merely a few minutes. Nojoa curled his lips into a cold sneer. He knew well that his power was going to flag in about 10 minutes. Thus, he had to catch up with the other person before that. Killing a Class C should not be that tough, should it? Yet, at that very moment, he saw Lu Xu fold his hands behind his neck, looking as if he had tied something to the back of his head. However, the illumination of Nojoa's crystal bottle did not permit such long-rate visibility. In the next instant. F asterisk CK. A golden ray shot straight towards Nojoa Takenobu from Lu Xu's neck, almost making him blind. What kind of move was that? From Nojoa Takenobu's distress, plus 999. Calculating the considerable length of the tunnel, Lu Xu tied his sun mirror behind him. It was his super high beams. Do you get it? Super. He was not distracted at all. The only thing needed was to constantly refill the mirror with his celestial powers. His running speed was not at all affected. Holding it in his hand would certainly make it harder to maintain his balance in extreme running. But it was a different case now. Fully automatic. Nojoa Takenobu could not even see his way, let alone chase his prey. Furthermore, there was nowhere to hide along this narrow tunnel. Must he run backwards then? Nojoa Takenobu was on the brink of frustration. What kind of person he had run into? Then, Nojoa slowly came to a stop. He had to, because his vision had been compromised. 
but at this moment, the light was suddenly gone. Nojoa Takenabu saw a glint of hope. Could it be the magical weapon was too mana-consuming that it could not be sustained any further? As far as he could recall, the person did not use it for a prolonged period of time either in the palace. His speculation was well-founded. After all, that guy had no reason to stop at all. He could just run away with his high beams on the entire way. Nojoa caught up with a sneer. Since you are at your wit's end, do not blame me for not giving you a chance. Yet, in the next instant, ka. Here came the sun again. From Nojoa to Kenabu's distress, plus 999. However, this time, the golden ray was shining at a different pattern. It was flickering rapidly like that in a nightclub. Let us have some music, please. Flicker your foot. From Nojoa to Kenabu's distress, plus 999. Nojoa to Kenabu stopped, so did Lu Shu. The distance between them again increased to around 500 meters, but that did not diminish the blinding radiance at all. Lu Shu took the sun mirror down from the back of his head and flashed it at Nojoa to Kenabu. Honestly speaking, he had secured an invincible position against non-sunglasses wearers like Nojoa Takenabu in such a narrow tunnel. In fact, even if he brought his shades, he would immediately become blind had Lu Shu turned off his mirror in the darkness. How lonely it was to be a pro! Lu Shu thought to himself. Actually, he was just waiting for Nojoa's power to be weakened so that he could launch a counter-attack. He could sense that it was about time. At this moment, Lu Shu tied his sun mirror to the front of his chest and took to his heels towards Nojoa to Kenabu. Flashes of the mirror illuminated every corner of the passage. Nojoa to Kenabu was at a loss at once. He could roughly make the guess that Lu Shu's sensory power was strong, since he came back for him at just the right moment. Instantly the situation had changed. Now, Lu Shu was chasing Nojoa to Kenabu. Truth be told, Nojoa Takenabu had never been such a loser ever since the inception of the era of Spirit Chi. What the hell was going on? Despite no significant lethality of the person, his capability to disgust his opponents was unmatchable. Could it be a new type of practitioners nurtured by the Heavenly Network? In addition to the traditional ones such as Earth and Fire, was he of the disgusting type? doesn't mean to be happy Cause it looks like we all don't know Last half full or empty And we just put them on the show